All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Overlord Season 4, Episode 10. In the last episode, we had uh, Ainz and Co. Uh, attacking one of the many villages that he's seeing to take over or destroy, or I don't know, probably take over. Um, but he was, he, you know, he was trying to kill everyone. So, um, but yeah, Ainz had a foreseen plan in mind for some reason. He said that everybody just watch and wait. Um, I did say in the last episode, oh, is this Ainz? Like, no, it's not Ainz. God, I'm such an idiot. Um, but he, he clearly knew like something like that was going to happen. Uh, we have this kind of mech Gundam character, which is apparently another Ad Adamante uh, adventurer from somewhere else. I have no idea. Um, has come to help, which is interesting. Uh, I'm very excited to see who that is. Maybe it'll get spe spoken spoken about in this episode. Ainz will very likely go over what he believes is happening. I don't know. Very excited to see it regardless. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. It is absolutely free. It means so much. And uh, let's go into this episode right now. Oh my god, of course he doesn't have a freaking clue. I thought like for a second, oh, Heinz knew this was going to happen, that's different. No, of course not. Yeah, okay. God damn it. Bro, Heinz like five times a day could just be like, ah, as I expected. And then the whole squad will just come up with his own thoughts. Like he doesn't need to say anything. He's from Drop of Red, one of the three Adamantai teams in the kingdom. Was he one of the only per- oh, the, sorry, is they? Or oh, they, uh, one of the only people in that squad with that kind of Gundam armor? Or is it the whole squad? Oh, the uh, uh, old dog maid. I forgot her name. But uh, everybody did explain to me in the last uh, video that her and uh, Albedo's sister are the more positive energy people of Nazarek. They don't want to kill quite as many people. Okay, we're going balls deep, I guess. She'll begin lelling lies of mix of truth. Lol. She doesn't look in a very joking mood. Fair play to this guy. He seems to be constantly working. The work of the people in our own kingdom. Mm, might just be your own sister. Wow, dude. Yeah, you'd be right. <laughs> I actually wouldn't be surprised if the kingdom was just wiped off the map by the end of this season. I really don't know what's going to happen. Oh, we're going to go check out this other squad. Interesting. Why is she so nervous about them seeing her? Oh god, it's full of girls, yeah. Is, so is this the guy in the mech? This guy. Actual player. He will like, good job. Interesting. Hello. So is this the rest of Drop of Red? Crazy looking team. I want to know who everybody is. Huh? So the, this, these guys aren't Drop of Red? This is a different squad? Did they say that wrong again? Or is that the right... Is that supposed to be Holy Kingdom or not? Nah? So what we got? The Drop of Red, Blue Rose, the Black Scripture. Okay, interesting. I mean, three insanely strong teams, it would seem. Damn. Make that tactical retreat if need be. Damn. 
The flex. Oh, it's the fucking prince? Lol. <laughs> That's a big flex. Yeah. Gotta be respectful. I'm about to prepare war. <laughs> Whole ass dining room table, bro. I feel like the world should already know, though. That's insane. True villain. We still stand, though. Ooh. Damn. Big words, bro. Happiness. You can bring happiness to these guys by doing literally anything, dude. You don't have to wipe out an entire capital. I really am curious as, as to if he's going to talk him, himself out of this. He's like really treading on like rice paper out. There's really no way, about, way out of this and he's just accepting it. Oh, that was his armor? Damn, Irons. This is the most formal conversation of war I've ever heard. What if he just domes you right now? Like, but. Ah, you did your best, bro. You kept your cool through all that. No, not at all. It'd actually be a shame to see this guy die. Oh? What the fuck? Who is this? We've already tried, dude. I mean, is that an option? I don't think he'll take that. Damn, bro. Fighting his own people now. You're all just going to get slain. Did they fucking kill him? I don't believe that, man. Just going to kill him? No? Well, I guess it was worth it then. Who? Where? The Uranist? Oh, they're gonna get tortured? Oh, he is pissed! Rightfully so. Shit, this is gonna be a bloodbath. Right, so that was episode 10 of season 4, Overlord. That kind of sucks. Uh, I really respected the prince for his words there. And um, honestly, to see him go out like that, not even in the war, just to some fucking nobles. Awful, awful shit, man. Um, honestly, this feels more fitting. The fact that he could have just killed them there and then. But he gives them false hope in saying, oh, yeah, you can live, no problem. Here, just go down this dark alley real quick and get tortured. And um, death will be what you are hoping for but you won't get it ah oh, man wow um yeah fuck like two episodes left i believe i think there's 12 episodes this season let me let me check that uh no 13 episodes so we've got three episodes left now really just gonna be a bloodbath i don't know how the capital is gonna be saved i don't think it can be um honestly i think the only only way the capital could be saved saved if is uh is if a player showed up i don't know Maybe the, the Blue Rose, the Drop of Red, and the Black team, which I've forgotten the name of, will be able to do something about this, but I very much doubt it. It's Ainz. 
yeah overall very good episode definitely looking forward to the next anyway guys i want to thank you guys so much for watching have a nice rest of your day and peace out